The top Ford Kenya party officials Wafula Omunyinyi and Ezeli Simiu have announced the defections to newly launched party Democratic Action Party of Kenya. The party that is affiliated to the Defense Cabinet Secretary Eugene Amalua is the latest entry into the Luya Nation. Our reporter Brown Mwenda attended this story and filed the following report. Ambe. Harambe. Today, the Luya political bloc welcomes another child. The Democratic Action Party of Kenya, that has for a while been affiliated to the Defense Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omaloa, has seen defectors from Moses Utangula led party Fort Kenya. This includes Tongaren MP Honorable Eseli Simiu. And this can do a counterpart Honorable Wafula Wamunyinyi have officially announced to shift camps. As I join you today, I recall the tribulations that we have gone through in trying to reform Ford Kenya, a party that was created with a view to restoring democracy in Kenya, has become the face of impunity and suffocation of democratic space and ideals. Naangalia kama kuna kipengele chochote kwa hiyo katiba chenye tunaruhusu sisi viongozi wa chama kufanya biashara ya minerals kama gold na oil. Si kupata hicho kipengele. This defection comes 6 months after the duo unsuccessfully attempted to oust Moses Utangula as Ford Kenya party leader. So kitoka Ford Kenya si ati utakufa. During the launch of the party, CS Eugene Omalo has quashed the One Kenya Alliance hopes of winning the 2022 presidential poll. Umwambie akiendelea kusalia hapo katikati kwa oka, musalia atafanya musalie inje ya serikali. The party has now vowed to support Raila Odinga's candidature under the basis of the continuity of devolution. Whoever is going to be the next president, Tuji Ulize, does he or she believe in devolution? Tuaweza tukamuamini ale mtoto huu, huyu, the most special child ever born in Kenya, Aito Omunyinyi joins the party as party leader and Eseli as the party secretary general. You put your hand Today, the unity of the second largest community in the country is yet receiving another test after the latest addition of the Democratic Action Party of Kenya into the upcoming general elections. And now the question of if this community will vote as one bloc remains unanswered. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Brian Munda.